today on Mage Space, we are diving into the Golden Dawn's neophyte grade papers and reading the first knowledge lecture. The first knowledge lecture can be found in Israel Regardi's The Golden Dawn, page 51. We'll get right to it. If you like this video, please tap like. And if you would like to see more Mage Space content, remember to subscribe. Neophyte Grade Papers First Knowledge Lecture 1. The four elements of the ancients are duplicated conditions of heat and dryness, fire, heat and moisture, air, cold and dryness, earth, cold and moisture, water. 2. The signs of the zodiac are 12. 1. Aries the ram. 2. Taurus, the bull. 3. Gemini, the twins. 4. Cancer, the crab. 5. Leo, the lion. 6. Virgo, the virgin. 7. Libra, the scales. 8. Scorpio, the scorpion. 9. Sagittarius, the archer. 10. Capricorn, the goat. 11. Aquarius, the water bearer. 12. Pisces, the fishes. The 12 signs are distributed among the four triplicities, or sets of three signs, each being attributed to one of the four elements, and they represent the operation of the elements in the zodiac. Thus, to fire belong Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Thus, to earth belong Taurus, Virgo, Capricornus. Thus, to air belong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Thus, to water belong Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. 3. To the ancients, six planets were known besides the sun, which they classed with the planets. They also assigned certain planetary values to the north and south nodes of the moon, that is, the points where her orbit touches that of the ecliptic. These they named Caput Draconis, head of the dragon, and Cauda Draconis, tail of the dragon. Since the discovery of two more distant planets, Neptune and Uranus, or Herschel, these two terms have been partially replaced by them. The effect of Caput Draconis is similar to that of Neptune. The effect of Cauda Draconis is similar to that of Uranus. The old planets are Saturn, Jupiter, Mars, Sol, Venus, Mercury, Luna, the Moon. 4. The Hebrew alphabet is given on page 53. Each letter represents a number and has also a meaning. Five letters have a different shape when written at the end of a word, and also a different number. Mem final. Of these finals, mem is distinguished by being the only oblong letter. The other four, kaf, nun, pe, tsadi, have tails, which should come below the line as shown. Hebrew and Chaldee letters are written from right to left. The Hebrew Kabbalists referred the highest and most abstract ideas to the emanations of deity, or sephiroth. They made them ten in number. Each one is a sephira, and when arranged in a certain manner, they form the tree of life. Hebrew letters are holy symbols. They should be carefully drawn and square. The sephiroth are 1. Keter the crown. 2. Shokma, wisdom. 3. Bana, understanding. 4. Chesed, mercy. 5. Gebura, severity. 6. Tifereth, beauty. 7. Netzach, victory. 8. Hod, glory. 9. Yesod, the foundation. 10. Malkut, the kingdom. 1. Note by JMG. Herschel was at one point an alternate name for Uranus. 2. Note by JMG. Chaldi, also known as Aramaic, is a language related to Hebrew and used in some Kabbalistic writings. 
the dagesh, or pointing, which represents the vowel sounds in modern Hebrew script, is not given. It was a later invention to standardize pronunciation and is described in Hebrew grammars. Pause text. For this portion of text that covers the Hebrew alphabet, I will be vocalizing the names only, as vocalizing this entire sprawling spreadsheet could ring audibly monotonous. Resume text. The Hebrew alphabet. Aleph. Bet. Gimel. Dalet. He. Wow. Zayin. Chet. Tet. Yod. Kaf, Lamed, Mem, Nun, Samek, Ayin, Pe, Tsadi, Kaf, Resh, Shin, Tau. Note by Regardi. Readers of the above who have perused my Tree of Life and Garden of Pomegranates will note the difference in Hebrew pronunciation. And in order to avoid any further confusion, an explanatory note must here be added. As is true of every language, in Hebrew there are several quite distinct dialects. There are, however, two principal ones which should be mentioned. The Ashkenazic, a dialect mostly in employment in Germany, Poland, and Russia. And the Sephardic, used in Spain, Portugal, and the Mediterranean generally. Now, since the Kabbalah attained its prominence in Spain, most Kabbalists have employed the Sephardic dialect. Personally, I have found that the Ashkenazic dialect answers more nearly than the other to the requirements of transliteration into English, and many problems that have assailed modern students would have been non-existent had they known of the pronunciation which I employed in my former works. Actually, however, students must discover which of these two suits his own personal predilection and answers to the necessity imposed by the results of study and experience. The order teaching employs the Sephardic pronunciation, and I have not ventured to interfere with that in any way at all. I simply mention the matter here to render impossible the likelihood of confusion arising. First meditation. Let the neophyte consider a point as defined in mathematics, having position but no magnitude, and let him note the ideas to which this gives rise. Concentrating his faculties on this as a focus, let him endeavor to realize the imminence of the divine throughout nature, in all her aspects. Begin by finding a position, balanced but sufficiently comfortable. Breathe rhythmically until the body is still and the mind is quiet. Keep this state for a few minutes at first, and for longer as you get more used to preventing the mind from wandering. Think now of the subject for meditation in a general way. Then choose out one thought or image and follow that to its conclusion. The simplest rhythm for the beginner is the fourfold breath. One, empty the lungs and remain thus while counting four. Two, inhale, counting four so that you feel filled with breath to the throat. Three, Hold this breath while counting four. Four. Exhale, counting four till the lungs are empty. This should be practiced counting slowly or quickly till you obtain a rhythm that suits you, one that is comforting and stilling. Having attained this, count the breath thus for two or three minutes till you feel quiet, and then proceed with the meditation. The Lesser Ritual of the Pentagram Take a steel dagger in the right hand, face east, touch thy forehead and say, Ate, thou art. Touch thy breast and say, Malkut, the kingdom. Touch thy right shoulder and say, Vegabura, and the power. Touch thy left shoulder and say, Vegadula, and the glory. Clasp thy hands before thee and say, Leolam, forever. Dagger between fingers, point up and say, Amen. Make in the air towards the east the invoking pentagram as shown, and bringing the point of the dagger to the center of the pentagram, 
vibrate the deity name yod heh vav -Hey, imagining that your voice carries forward to the east of the universe. Holding the dagger out before you, go to the south, make the pentagram, and vibrate similarly the deity name Adonai. Go to the west, make the pentagram and vibrate Ehie. Go to the north, make the pentagram and vibrate Agla. Return to the east and complete your circle by bringing the dagger point to the center of the first pentagram. Stand with arms outstretched in the form of a cross and say before me, Raphael. Behind me, Gabriel. At my right hand, Mikael. At my left hand, Oriel. Before me flames the pentagram. Behind me shines the six-rayed star. Again, make the Kabbalistic cross as directed above, saying Ate, etc. For banishing, use the same ritual, but reversing the direction of the lines of the pentagram. The uses of the pentagram ritual. 1. As a form of prayer, the invoking ritual should be used in the morning, the banishing in the evening. The names should be pronounced inwardly in the breath, vibrating it as much as possible, and feeling that the whole body throbs with the sound and sends out a wave of vibration directed to the ends of the quarter. 2. As a protection against impure magnetism, the banishing ritual can be used to get rid of obsessing or disturbing thoughts. Give a mental image to your obsession and imagine it formulated before you. Project it out of your aura with the saluting sign of a neophyte. And when it is about three feet away, prevent its return with the sign of silence. Now imagine the form in the east before you and do the banishing ritual of the pentagram to disintegrate it. Seeing it in your mind's eye, dissolving on the farther side of your ring of flame. 3. It can be used as an exercise in concentration. Seated in meditation or lying down, formulate yourself standing up in robes and holding a dagger. Put your consciousness in this form and go to the east. Make yourself feel there by touching the wall, opening your eyes, stamping on the floor, etc. Begin the ritual and go around the room, mentally vibrating the words and trying to feel them as coming from the form. Finish in the east and try to see your results in the astral light. Then walk back and stand behind the head of your body and let yourself be reabsorbed. 3. Note by Rigardi. In the introduction, page 36, I have given instructions for the performance of the Kabbalistic cross. When tracing the pentagrams, the imagination should be exerted to visualize them as flaming stars all about one. The impression should be of a fire ring, studded in four places with stars of flame. Likewise, when vibrating the angelic names, the student should endeavor to imagine four vast towering figures about him. But see further in my book, The Middle Pillar. End of text. Thank you for watching. Ah.